everybody. everybody. All right, All right, I see we are live on Facebook. Hi, Vic. Hi, Vic. How are you? How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Fantastic. Very, very excited to have you again today for our third installment of um, Growing Your Business with I Personalize. Um, very exciting stuff. Um, I'm going to go glad ahead and go I'm glad you have me too. <laughs> I'm, going I'm going to go ahead and, and apologize for um, me being kind of overwhelmed. I have a lot of things going on, and certainly David uh, deals with all of the technical stuff. And you guys know I'm, I'm trying my best. So if anything um, messes up, or um, I'm going to go ahead and go I'm glad you have me too. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going oh. oh. A little echo there. Um, yep. And this is, this exactly, is exactly what happened on my last, on my last one, but I think but I, I fixed it. All right. All right. You guys let me you know, know if I fixed echo? that echo? I hope I did. I hope I did. All right. All right. Definitely, Definitely echoing. I, uh, I, uh, Oh, I, saw, I, oh, see, I, saw, I see, see. I see now. See now why it's echoing. Why it's echoing. Um, all right. I hope all that, right. I hope that. I hope that fixes it. Echoing on, echoing Facebook, on Facebook still. still. Mm. Mm. All right, guys. All right, guys. Let me uh, see my this now. So I've got that muted, and I've got that one muted. Um. Still echoing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going right, to give it a couple seconds, right, and I, I really hope this works itself out. out. Um, so there's still there just a delay, so it sounds like one is overriding the other. Thank you, Blaine. Thank you, Blaine. Blaine. Thank you Sari. Thank, thank you, Janice. Janice. Um, I am. Okay. Okay. We're just going to try, gonna try it like this. Uh, uh, Okay. okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to um, close my YouTube and my Facebook. So guys, I'm not going to be able to see your comments, and I apologize. Um, but hopefully that made it a little better. Uh, I will pull Facebook up on my phone. Um, do you still hear an echo, Vic? No, I'm not. Mm -mm. Okay, good. Okay, good. All, right. All right. Well, with all that being said, um, once again, Once thank, again you thank you very much for joining us. Uh, and, and I know you've got some really exciting things to do today. Um, I've had a, a very, very good, good two uh, past, weeks past weeks with you, uh, learning all kinds of stuff about um, online, online stores and, and, and you know, it's, you know, it's, it's things, things that I feel that like people, people, people maybe take for granted because you, you, think, you think about buying a store, a uh, an online store, and, and everything just works. Just works. And, that's, and that's, you know, that's, you know, that's not, not what happens at all. At all. Um, um, there's a there's lot, a that, lot goes that goes into it, it. and, and uh, I'm, really uh, I'm really glad, glad that you've been here. All right, that you've been here to to help us figure all that out. Okay. Uh, okay. He doesn't, he doesn't echo, echo just me. All right. I see you guys. Um, I tell you what. I tell you what. Vic, Vic since, since you're not echoing, echoing, echoing I'm going to let you uh, take, take over, over and I'm going to see if I can get David to uh, figure out my sound. Okay. I'm, I'm ready. I'll do it. Okay. So thanks everyone for. Uh, Thank you, Condi and Sprite and David for everyone there for letting me do these with you every week. I've been quite enjoyed it and I've enjoyed the calls and all the comments back. It's uh, interesting uh, to learn. You learn a lot of things when you get good feedback from people. And we certainly have done that. We've always done that. Tried to take what you tell us and make it better. Um, today, uh, Sprite asked me and uh, that we would focus on what, uh, what makes success and, and what are some of the things we're seeing. And I want to introduce a couple concepts to you. Uh, one being, the first one being the long tail. And I'm going to take this and move it over here, Sprite. You tell me if we have a problem with it. 
please. Uh, it's called the it's called the concept of the long tail, and this is an idea that's been around. I certainly didn't invent it. Can you ever, you see that? Okay, Sprite. Uh, uh, Sprite is coming to get me saying there's an issue. Let me go see what Okay. All right, thanks. Come on. Is that working, Sprite, for everybody? I'll be back. Yes, ma'am. I'm not back again. What? Sprite, I'm not hearing anybody except somebody in the background. Yeah, I know. I have. I apologize. Let me. Um. Hold on a second. I've got David here. So got the mastermind. David is going to see if he can get this out for me. I still got a. Hey guys, David. Guys, David here. He is the technical man. So, uh, so I, don't know, uh, I don't know. Is it? Um, you guys, let me know. You guys, let me know. Is it uh, uh, still feeding back? Still feeding and back. I, I really and apologize, guys. I really apologize, guys. So um, you've got your microphone, you've got your microphone here. here, so that's so that's right. the problem. Right. So, so, why don't, so you just, why don't you just use the sure the, the, sure right. go, ahead go ahead and unmute it. it. I'm gonna stop sharing, Sprite, <laughs> just so you can have a thing. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's. Okay. Uh, is that better? Is that better? All right, Vic. All right, Let's Vic. Go, uh, Let's go. Uh, Hold on. I got to figure out. In technology, wonderful when it works, and then when it doesn't work, it you kind of go, ah. Uh, when it works. When it works, it's it nice. Works. It's wonderful. So, And no Sprite, this is not wine, this is sweet tea. So it's a Zoom, so it's a Zoom setting. Where the, Where the audio? Show me the audio settings. So the audio so settings. Right here? Right here? Um, um, oh. Oh. I, if, I I, if I muted it. I I think I got it. Okay, that should help. I had all of my Zoom mics on, um, so I think, guys, I think that should fix it. Oh man, technology! Isn't that the truth? Let's see if it works. All right, guys. Dick, can you hear us? So Vic has got to hear us through Zoom. Okay. Through Zoom. All right. So, oh, okay. I got it. So, if I unmute, Vic, can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Fantastic. Okay. I, so, what did you do to fix? I I muted my Zoom intake and unmuted that Zoom intake. I think you're good. I think I'm good. <laughs> good, job. good job. Okay. Thanks, everybody, for sticking with me. I apologize again. Um, and, yeah. I think we're ready to go. <laughs> All right, Vic. It's on you, babe. All right. All right, I'll start. I'm going to share my screen and I'll get going here, Miss Bright. Just a couple ideas we wanted to begin this one with is a couple of, we're talking about success today, and I'm going to show you a lot of Shopify stores that uh, all kinds of ideas that people come up with and, and, one of, the, one of the most successful uh, theories, uh, ways of going about having a story is to embrace the idea of having of the long tail. And many of you have heard about this. It's kind of a famous book that was written by a gentleman several years ago. Oops, let me make sure I get this up here. Sorry about that. Uh, the long tail is the idea of that uh, you can sell popular products and everybody knows what the popular products are. They're typically what? Drinkware and coasters. And, and we all know what's, what sells a lot. Certainly t-shirts, things that have been out there a long time, po very popular. But the, the idea of the long tail is that if you, if you start selling products that are in a niche, 
niche, we might say. Long tail marketing is a strategy of selling popular products in addition to low amounts, smaller amounts of niche products. And the result of that is that you sell more overall and make more profit because these, these niche products will bring you into different markets, people that want those particular items. And uh, the combination of those is uh, it, it's the variety that gets your, expands your market. And they've proven the concept over the years that if you'll follow that philosophy of having, of course, some of the most popular products, but also having your own products that appeal to a certain niche, in, either a niche in your local area, uh, or if you're doing, uh, certainly if you're doing a corporate program, which I like to talk about, because I sold those for years and years, company stores, safety programs, uh, programs to corporations for their dealer networks, or maybe a store for a soccer league, uh, all kinds of uh, organizations need uh, products like that with their logos and so forth, but those are niche products. And when you can have those products uh, available and you draw in different audiences to you. So it's, a, it's an interesting concept that, that uh, a lot of folks don't really understand. Uh, you really should not go out there and hear what I hear so many times. And, I, and I've said this, I, I think on every one of these webinars is that you don't want to go out there and throw 500 products on your site and just hope somebody finds them without a strategy. You really need to do it uh, in a very systematic uh, method. And when we, uh, when, we, when we sign somebody up to do a store, uh, I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually refining this more and more the more I talk to folks. Uh, they're always worried about, oh, where do I get my domain name? Or how do we, what merchant account should I use? They're always worried about things that we do every day. I'm not at all worried about them. <laughs> so what they should be worried about is very simple. They need to, they need to be thinking about their target market in, in their local area, generally. Who they're going to, who they're going after? If they're going after consumers in their local area, where do you, well, do you have tourists there? Do you have, who are you trying to get the attention of? You've got to have something in mind when you go into business because you, the niche, that niche that you're going to go, that you're going to find is what's going to bring you all the, those folks are also going to buy the most popular products. Again, the long tail will kick in. So. When we, when we sign somebody up to do a store with us, whether it's in Shopify or one of our other startup Magento sites, we, what we do very simply, we go through a process and we say, okay, the first thing I want you to do is to select in Shopify, select one of their 10 free themes. Just give us one. It really doesn't matter which one so much to us, but we want to get started working on it. And, and then we want you to send us you, any graphics you have or any ideas for logos, uh, any products, that, any, any thoughts you have about what products you're going to sell to that target market. Who, who are they? What products fit them? And what are your, give us some ideas about your graphics that you want to do. Because we're going to start taking that and we're going to go ahead and work on uh, coming back to you with several ideas about how your homepage should look. It's always your final decision, but we will help you build those graphics. And uh, we've done quite a few of those. As a matter of fact, I'll show you. I was kind of looking at this earlier. We've done quite a few of those, <laughs> as you can see. Quite a few of them. And so we actually give you uh, access to look at this uh this is in our google drive we let you see uh all the different uh, uh sliders and home page graphics that we've built for other folks just to give you some ideas and we think this is be very helpful to folks so that but again you've got to have your target market in mind and and then then we want you to go and simply again we don't want you to worry about 
the incidentals of building the website. I'm going to make sure personally, I'm going to talk to you for an hour at the right times, whenever you need two or three hours, I'll work with you. I'm going to make sure we get all those little details done. But the critical item to your success is that you think through carefully who you're selling to, what's your target market, and what products you're going to sell, and how great you're going to work on them, and how hard you're going to work on them to make them be very attractive. You, we want you to spend your time not worrying about the website. We'll take care. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull everything I need out of you to get that right. But you need to be looking at those products, uh, writing up the descriptions. Uh, we can all use the nice descriptions, for instance, that Condi gives us, and they have done a good job with that. But the reality is that Google will ignore those descriptions if they're exactly the same as someone else. Google is looking for unique content. So whenever you just leave it like it is, that's not good enough. Or at least it's not for SEO. That's not going to help you with it, search engine optimization. You need some unique content. Also, the images that uh, we have, again, a lot of them are great. But if you can change those as well, that's just another way that Google will find you if you give them some unique content. So there's really nothing more important you can do, in my view, uh, when you're getting a website is, is, again, it's all about sales, making, making sales, generating revenues, because that's how you stay in business is when you have revenues. If you have revenues, everything else will work out. Okay, you can always get people to do things that you don't know how to do. But we want you to focus on your products, making them look good. So we'll give you access to our database of about 3,500. There's more coming, really. And you can go through there. Again, I, you know, I've seen most successful sites that we, that we work on. They may have 50 products. They may have 30 or 40. Very few are, are trying to compete with Amazon, though, and having you know, 500 products. The quantity of products is not what's going to get make you successful. It's how great you can make them look, how appealing you can make them. Again, if you're uh, if you're doing a company store, which I keep coming back to because it's a great way to to take care of that issue. The, what is your niche? Well, if you're if you're doing a company store and you've got a, a company logo and you're making products for their employees or their dealer network or you're providing safety items that you're decorating for them, then you've already got that figured out. You've got a captive audience and that's wonderful. And those uh, company stores are, are a wonderful way to build your business because it's a very nice base. They'll order all year long, orders will come in. And again, when uh, that company has a big event, uh, they'll remember you because you talk to them on a fairly regular basis. And, uh, that you have their logos and you'll be able to uh, make a uh, bid on any big orders they may have for their special events when they have, uh, for instance, for their school district and they have a teacher appreciation dinner and they want to buy 300 uh, phone cases. Well, you can, you can take care of that. You'll, they'll, they'll call you. So you have a nice base, steady base of these stores, uh, your own store that you go and market yourself. And, and then you get the special order business that comes in all the time. And then, you know, you're swinging. You've got it all covered. Company stores for schools and uh, soccer teams, they're all like little annuities. And uh, I'm, I'm speaking from the heart here because I, this is the way I did it back in the, in the I hate to say it, back in the 90s. Uh, I had about 30 of them at one time. They ranged from stores that did fifteen dollars to $20,000 a year to uh, Skeeter Boats out in Kilgore, Texas, that did about 700000 That was pretty nice. Uh, but it's a great way to build a good, solid foundation of business uh, for yourself. And that you know who you're selling to. You can really concentrate and do a good job with it. So we want you to go through our database and, and, and uh, select the products that we have that are in there. And of course, then tell us what other products that we don't have in there. We don't make any claim that we have everything. We, we have what we think are the best sellers, but there's certainly a lot more. And David is always adding products. We can never keep up with him, but we uh, hope we never can. Uh, 
but we will find, you tell us what other products you want in your store and we we put those in there as well uh everything else about your website i can we can handle i can talk to you i can pull it out of you we'll make sure that you we, i'll show you how to get you if you don't have a domain name i'll show you how to get one <clears throat> it's easy enough to do uh tell you to buy it for one year and don't buy all the extras it should cost you 12 or 18 dollars excuse me <clears throat> Let me, let me get a little sip of my wine here, right? It's actually sweet tea. But we take you through the whole process. I'll pull that out of you. We'll get all those incidentals done about your website. We don't want you worrying about building a website. But during that process of me working with you directly, one-to-one, -one, we, we will, I will make sure that you know how to operate the site, where your products are, where your orders come in, and where you where you go to download the artwork and how to do everything about the merchant accounts. And I'll give you my advice. You can take it or leave it, do whatever you want to do. Of course, it's your store. Um, and which brings me to another little point. I've, I've heard horror stories over the years where someone calls me up and they have a site, but they cannot change it. They can't change it because when they set the site up, the developer they worked with, probably charged them a lot of money, but did not give them control of their site. So take this to heart, please. If you're going to have a website, you need to own the domain name. You need to own the account of where it's being hosted. And, you know, we do Shopify uh, or we do our, our site, which we certainly let you own those. And, and so you, you need to be totally in control of those things. The last thing, of course, is the merchant account where the money goes, you need to make sure you own that as well. Uh, frequently it's happened. Someone didn't have control of their, the site that was hosting their website and they were just, they were out of luck. They could not, they couldn't move it. They were kind of locked in. So that's something to really avoid. Uh, so that's the process we'll go through with you to, to, uh, to make sure that, you get your side up, we'll get it on time, but we really just want you concentrating on success. And success is selling. And selling is making, is, is, is having great products that, uh, that you've invested your, your passion into, that you've made look great, and that you know that people in your local area or wherever you're selling regionally, that's what they want. So uh, the other thing I want to cover real quick is that people are always asking me, I had a gentleman, I think in one of the webinars was telling me they couldn't find out what I was selling. It's right here under sign up and pricing. <laughs> here's the Shopify premier right here. Here's the startup stores right here. And then if you have an existing Shopify or Whoop and big commerce, this is where you would go. So we've covered that quickly, but now I want to get into the fun part of it, which is what I like to look at is the, is the different uh, stores that we've done and, and show you some of the uh, cool things that other people, some cool ideas uh, of different things that they've uh, created and, uh, and how they operate their store. It's really quite amazing to me the creativity that folks have. And we've just done a lot of them. Uh, it's been quite a journey for us, certainly a learning experience. Uh, but let's let's go and look at one of them. Here's a here's one called Altitude Wraps, and I'll bring that store up. And this gentleman, uh, he does. Uh, we didn't build this store; it was already in Shopify. But he contacted us, and he wanted to start letting folks create their skins uh, for these drones that he that he makes. Isn't it amazing? Uh, I would have never thought of that. Really cool. Uh, they can customize their skin. So we're starting, he, he had another system in there other than I personalized. And uh, they wanted to go in and, and uh, slowly but surely we're replacing those products with uh, letting them use our online tool, which creates the production ready artwork. It's just amazing to me how creative people can be, I, uh, how they oh, make money. Uh, they I would have never dreamed of some of this stuff. Uh, can you hear that's, me? That's a, that's a great site. Uh, and you see when you get into actually selecting products, he, he's, he allows them to do uh, quite a bit of thing. He likes some uh, uh, 
add text to the top or bottom, add images. Uh, here's, here we, we're using a gallery of uh, background images that he's put in here. So I can select one of those, or I can select one of these. Any of these, these are, these are his standard images he puts in. Or you can upload an image. And uh, let's see, I'm gonna put our, one of our logos in there just because I can, it doesn't really fit, but I could you see, oh, upload another, doesn't like it. Okay, doesn't like that one, okay. Uh, but this is a, this is a, I had this question come up this week. Uh, someone was asking me about this function right here where you can go in and, and bring in an image from somewhere. And you can bring it in from Facebook if you're logged in at the time, Flickr, Dropbox, Google Drive. You can even put a QR code on there. But um, they were talking about this and they, they were, I was uh, telling them, well, I'd like to, you know, maybe I'd like to bring in an image uh, like this. See how this one, see how they accept that. Not very well. <laughs> okay. It's got to be there. This, they're real specific because they have to have the right size and so forth. But what I want to show you is this tool right here we have. It's uh, this, this tool lets you, the scissors is a common thing in Adobe and Paintbrush and those, and all those other systems. Basically, it'll let you create a transparency. You can bring in an image and it will, it will let you cut out the background and put it on there. So it's, that's a cool uh, you know, tool that you have in our online designer. Let me take you to some other stores. Hey, Vic. Uh, go ahead. You got hey, questions? Um, right. So I've got a couple of people on Facebook that are commenting about um, the video being blurry. Um, Mark and David, I apologize. I'm, I'm actually watching it on my phone and everything looks pretty good. Um, so uh, I, I apologize that it's looking blurry for you, but um, I can't, uh, it's, it, you know, it's, it's looking fine through me on my phone through Facebook. Um, so I apologize, guys. I, I, there's really nothing I can do to uh, fix that on my end. Sorry, Vic, go ahead. Okay, well, I, I'm looking, it looks, what I'm seeing is clear, so I, sorry about that too. Uh, but as you can see, we've done, uh, you still see my screen, we've, we've done a lot of different stores, different kinds of stores uh, all over the place uh, on, on what people have, uh, have, are trying to sell. Here's a uh, new store that was in development. You can see they're called, some, a lot of them are in development. A lot of them have already been launched. These are all being developed because I've got the little development tab on up here. Let's go away from that. Let's go back there to that. Okay. So uh, there's Altitude Wraps. Mighty Skins is a cool one. Uh, it's another company that produces skins that they put on different products. Uh, okay. I'm going here to their front page. And let's see. Is that coming through okay? Yeah. Here's Mighty Skins. So they allow them, of course, to create their own product. And let's see what they've got here on their site. Oh, they got quite a bit of stuff. Look at this. Phone skins, skins for cases, vape skins. There you go. Trending custom skins, laptop skins, gaming skins. You know, it's kind of interesting. I uh, I had no clue that, that younger people, certainly younger than me, were putting uh, skins on their controllers for the games. Oh yeah, uh, they have them. Um, uh, everything matches now. They have their i their uh, AirPod case matches their Switch, which right. matches. It's it's great. Isn't that something? Uh, I ran into a fellow uh, from Oklahoma that was actually painting them and custom. He was charging about three hundred and fifty dollars for each one he did, but they were hand painting them. And he he was calling us because he wanted to know if we could if we could we could send him to let people design it online and then they could send the graphic. It'd be easier for him to do it. <laughs> so we started down that path. I, I, I don't, I'm not sure what happened to it though. Nice fellow. But there's drones and there's tumblers and coolers, all kinds of stuff that people are so creative with things that they, they create. Let's see what we got here. This may be one that we're replacing the customization on. I have to see how the designer comes in. Yeah, that's a different designer than ours. Um, but we're slowly but surely taking those out. So 
anyway um uh, let's go back here to some more stores uh mighty skip fan brand is a a good one too um these folks are very successful they they have a license to otterbox and, and let me let me let me show you right here on the screen i'm pointing to sales channels and Again, with Shopify, the great thing about them is that you can have your products hosted inside Shopify, and then you can take those products and you can put them in a variety of other sales channels. Your online store is just one of them. Uh, you can also put them into Facebook, Messenger, and they, they're also using eBay. Let me click here and see what Facebook uh, Shopify has out there right now. They've got a, they always are adding something new. Like there's one right there. I have no clue where that is, but it's a it's a platform that is obviously a sales platform. So there's Amazon. Uh, and another point is that this software in Shopify, if you want to use it for point of sale, if you actually have a retail storefront, uh, they have uh, they've got a little integration here where you can use your products that are in your store to uh, track your sale internal your sales inside your store i mean inside your website to track your sales inside your retail store but it's just uh, another example of uh, of the robust functionality that shopify has so let's go look at this store see what they got out there all right so these guys fan brander yeah they have ncaa mlb nba nfl licenses and the licensing business it's not really something I've gotten into before. Sounds expensive to me, but they <laughs> they they do offer OtterBox products. And let's see what you can do with that. You can come in here, you can buy the OtterBox, send it to phone case, and you can put the Ohio State Buckeyes polka on there. Let's see. Here's the other iPhones they have. Uh, let's see. This one doesn't allow any further personalization. They probably wouldn't because they they want they would compete with uh, the logo of the Ohio State. But but you know, and again, this is a point uh, I always like to make as well is that yes, the name of my company is I Personalize, and we do we are experts in online product personalization. Howsoever, we're the we're the sizzle, we're the we're the extra, the a base of what you sell is should be you should always have some products that are just standard print on demand in other words products like this where when people click on it that's what they're buying they don't have to spend any more time and as much as i would love for everybody to personalize everything the reality is there's a big chunk of the market about half of it that'll probably not do that it doesn't matter to us we obviously handle those are that's a common thing we obviously handle those we're great with that but the adding on the sizzle of the little bit of personalization uh, is just, again, a way you can differentiate yourself and participate in a niche market. And, you know, you're kind of adopting that uh, theory there of the long tail. You're, you're bringing in something that they don't commonly find. So uh, let's go back here, go back here and see what else they've got here in the store. It's a good friend of mine, this guy, Jonathan. Uh, let's see, the NBA. So you can come in here and here's the Los Angeles Lakers logo. And I'm not suggesting everybody go out and buy these, uh, get into the licensing business, but uh, it's just uh, interesting to see the way people make money and some of the things they do. Um, I've always enjoyed talking to this gentleman. So he's a good friend of mine. Oop, of course, my website doesn't want to work good. Here's another print on demand product. After you, when they see it with that logo on there, and that's what they're buying. They're not, they're not going to designer. Standard print on demand will always be about half the business, I think. About 35 to 45% will be the pre-designs where you actually do give people an opportunity to come in and design something or at just, of course, the most popular one is simple photo upload. And that's it. They a photo upload. That's all they do. That's a big chunk of it. Then they add next, add text, maybe then add another image. And of course, there's all the specialty 
uh, pre-designs where maybe someone has six or seven uh, pieces of artwork on there that they allow folks to upload. All those things can be done. And uh, that's where your creativity will come in and be able to, you know, that's where you can differentiate yourself. This, this store, I'm not sure if I can get into it. We'll see if they let me into it. This is one we kind of help manage. But uh, as you might imagine, some of these stores, uh, they, uh, they don't want just everybody seeing everything. But I'm kind of on, I'm on the inside. I'm, I'm in with the in crowd on a lot of this. Uh, some of their top sellers. Let's see what they've got. Customizable pet products. Pet blankets, sequin pill covers, Van Gogh portraits, pop art. I know Condi has a wealth of blankets, mugs. Of course, mugs are just a huge seller everywhere. Look at that, $23. Now, as I recall, I think you can produce those a lot cheaper than that. It's a good profit margin in here. This is another one in this store that we are replacing uh, their, their designer. This, this is not ours, but uh, they are a customer of ours. We're slowly but surely, they don't, we're not disrupting their business. We're just giving them a better designer. So it's not so that this one won't even allow you to, I don't think we won't even allow you to see it dynamic. See this with live dynamic imaging, we would have this image over on this mug and they would see it immediately they could size it and then we would produce the production ready artwork and this this system does not do that so when when this order comes through uh whoever is producing this mug for this group they have to take the artwork and size it and do all that with our system you never have to do that you'll get artwork that's ready to rock and roll so um they're, they're also in Facebook. There you can see, and I'm not going to take up the orders. That's probably something I shouldn't show to everybody. Um, Custom Strength Swag, though, is another one that uh, this is this is a store we built for a uh, promotional products distributor. Lisa, good friend of mine, too. And here's her store. And this is for the group that uh, published the book strength finders you read the book and you find out your top five core strengths and so what they wanted were products that their trainers and my understanding is they have about five thousand trainers that go around the country and have meetings have people read the books and uh, help them to understand what their five core strengths are and then once they do that they occasionally want to buy products and uh, and so we put these products in here and let's see, well, they finally got some t-shirts in there. I didn't know that yet. You know, it's okay. That's good, Lisa. So here's uh, like some, uh, this travel trailer, travel tumbler really, not a travel trailer, is it? Travel tumbler and they bring it up, our designer pops up and you can see the way we customize this product. Again, what is over here is exactly up to any of you. This is where you're create. This is where we want you to spend your time, and it's and it's hard to do it on uh, 200 products, but you can do it on 30, or 40, or 50, and you can you can spend your time making sure these products are unique. This is totally unique. I don't, you know, most of them have never seen anything like this. Let's do this. Get in there. There. And you see that it's all changed there. They add the cart. And then we, of course, capture what they what they put in here and they check out and off it goes. And again, that's a healthy margin on those because personalized products are totally unique and they, they actually they uh, create loyalty uh, because they can only get these here. Uh, but they're also unique and, and the the customer psychologically feels like they participated in the uh, process of creating that product and they're, and they're proud of it a little bit. So uh, personalized uh, promotional and, and personalized gifts uh, 
are always in will always be in high demand because it gives the customer control to design what they want. And that's and that's why we are here today trying to fill that fill that niche. Um, another thing, uh, let's see another story that we've got. My, another good one. Kind of hear my wife in the background. I, if she starts making too much noise, I'll I'll have to go get her, but I think she's okay right now. It's dangerous for me to do that, of course. Uh, <laughs> here's a company out of the UK that we've done a lot of work with. Uh, really nice guys. Uh, very robust store. You see they got 1,928 orders. That's what that means right there. 1,928 orders. I don't know what the time frame is exactly, but uh, it's uh, that's a lot of orders. Uh, let's go look at what they do. Blue Crate. Can you click it? Personalized bean bags. Interesting. Personalized high top sneakers. Converse Chuck Taylor all all star high tops. Donut cushion. Oh, look at that. That's interesting. Let's go look at the donut cushion. You want to? <laughs> Isn't that something? This is another store that we're slowly but surely taking out there, taking out taking out this designer. This one does have a, some dynamic uh, imaging to it, but it's not uh, creating a production artwork, which is well, critical think, to saving that, you time. Yes, ma'am? I think that that's important that everyone knows is that even if you already have an online store, um, you know, adding this designer to it is, is super beneficial. And you can, I mean, and, and the examples that you're showing are very, you know, very nicely put together stores, but they don't have that online designer, which is really, really key here. I think, um, I think that in and of itself is going to sell product. Uh, it, you know, that's going to sell product more than, um, you know, having to call and place an order and get a, uh, um, uh, what is it called? Oh my goodness. Get a, um, an approval mock up of the design and uh, you know, mock up for people. Yeah. I mean, it's quick, it's easy, and you, you do it immediately. There's no guesswork. Um, you know, it's, it's, this is, it's very integrated, very nice. I've got two more stores I want to show you. Here's one that some of y'all may know this nice lady. This lady I met in 2013, and she has, uh, she has, uh, let me say, she was inspirational to me because I was afraid of her. <laughs> Her name is Teresa Martin. Teresa, I hope you're listening to that. Oh, she is uh, watching. She's she called me up and said, Vic, commentary. this part's not working the way I want. And you know what? She was almost always right the way she wanted it to work. So we, we kind of went to school with Teresa Martin and did a lot of things. And she, she was with our original platform. And then we moved her to Shopify last year. So here's, here is her store. And she has done very well with her personalized dominoes and personalized guitar picks. A great example of the long tail of, of having products that are really kind of hers that she came up with. And I know other people do it, but Teresa does it extremely well. I think we flipped the, uh, we let them decorate both sides of the guitar pick. Um, we made some system changes, uh, oh, I think it was last year, we actually went to an upgraded uh, system and uh, the back side of it wasn't printing properly. We, we had no clue that wasn't working right, but Teresa sure pointed it out to us. <coughs> and I'm glad she did, uh, but she's been uh, quite a good friend. And uh, when I was in Florida a uh, year before last, she was still there, not in Ohio. I, I journeyed about an extra hundred miles just to go see her. It was quite a trip. Uh, <laughs> but this is Teresa. She's done very well with her store. And uh, let's let's click on one of her uh, one of her deals just for friends. Let's see, let's do this one. Oh, look at that! Do we do all this for you, Teresa? We put this quantity. Th I guess we did. That's what you were talking to them about, wasn't it? Okay. See how this is what she's got up there. It's, it's what she needs. And we'll go here. Let's find something different. Um, 
Let's see. Here's an old girlfriend. We'll put her on there. How about that? I was asked today about cropping. Y'all crop, and I and I, <clears throat> or can they add it to the design? And I was saying, well, not really. Uh, and the reason why that you can see what we can do with it, we we effectively can do it with the designer by these tools, but the actual going around something and cropping it like they do in Photoshop, my understanding is it for whatever reason, the HTML5 that the internet's mostly going to and based on, it's a problem. And so that's why no one really has it in there. I learned something with that question. But, uh, uh, and here you see her face, obviously it's a little bit washed out and because the image is, is fairly low resolution, I think I got it off of, uh, uh, off of Facebook. Uh, she, she is a friend, she was a friend of mine. I hope she's still a friend of mine. Uh, <laughs> she probably but you is. know, this is actually, uh, so uh -huh. and one of the problems that I run into as a graphic artist is people supplying me with very low resolution images. And so yeah. this is actually very good because they can see what their image is going to look like in real time on their, on their item. Um, so if you send a low resolution image, it's going to show on your screen, that's what it's going to look like on the product. Um, so that's, you know, I, I actually really like that. Yeah, and, and you know, we, uh, when, you know, seven years ago when I was getting into all this and learning about designers and stuff, <clears throat> I really did, was very concerned about that. Low res, and you know, Facebook images are what, 72 DPI? And, and I was very concerned that, about people sending those in and what were we gonna do? How were we gonna stop that? And we actually built into our system uh, some checks. So when an image that was very low res came in, uh, it would stop and say, no, this isn't good enough. And, and you know, over the about two years, we slowly but surely took those controls off. And the reason was, is that people, we got more calls from people saying, yeah, I know it's a bad image, but I still want it. It's the only picture I've got of my father on that motorcycle or something like that. They, it was more problem checking it than it was, than it was saving us. So we we slowly but surely took those off, and uh, and now I just tell people when they ask me, what do you do about low res images? I'll say, well, if it's they are they are seeing it, and they're proving it. We've even put some text in here if someone really wants it about. Remember, what you see is what exactly what you're going to get. If you if this is okay and you hit add to cart, it's good. You're proving it, or you know you can word it better than that. But the basic point is. You could put some verb, we could put some verbiage in here that would say that if you thought it was necessary. But it, frankly, it's one of those problems that I was worried about that wasn't a problem. Uh, and most printers know that when they get something really terrible or copyright uh, that they shouldn't print, they you know, usually know not to print something like that. They call, the, they call the customer and say, look, this is really awful or illegal. I'm not going to do it uh, or what have you. But uh, uh, you know, it's, it's just, it was a problem that I dreamed up in my head that wasn't there. So, you know, there's a lot of things like that with software and websites, things you worry about and you find out, eh, they've been doing that for a long time. It's all okay. Uh, let's see here. That's more, that is, uh, Teresa Martin's store. Is she, is she commenting on Facebook there? I can't see it. Uh, um, she did comment earlier. Um, she, she did? <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, I, do have, I have a couple of questions, Vic. Um, okay. So Jackie on Facebook asks, if you already have a Shopify store, would you add this to your store as an app? Uh, it's Yeah, we have to. Uh, app is a big word. We, we would, if you want us to, yes, we would integrate into your store. That's, that's one of our offers on our website to personalize the products in your store by integrating into it. Yes, that's, you know, we, we can, if we build a brand new Shopify store, we still have to integrate our online designer and all the management system into that theme that you, that we ask you to pick. But if you already have a theme and you already have an existing store, we, we can integrate into it. Now, to be clear, we don't take you offline. What we technically what we do is we duplicate your store over here in a different spot 
and then we integrate into it. Then when it's all working good, it takes us about a week to massage the code and make sure it's tested properly. And then we, we run it by you and then we, then we make it live. But we have to do that integration to get the personalization in there. So uh, that's how we do that. Um, here's, a so store, here's a store that I'm kind of, you know, oh, no. business is business. This is a, I was contacted by a uh, Axis Promotions in uh, New York City. They're a good customer of mine. Uh, and they do a lot of big stores. Uh, but this one was the J.P. Morgan Corporate Challenge. And J.P. Morgan hosts these uh, challenges where they run uh, all over the world. You see Boston, Buffalo, all these places. And they run it, you know, they, they run in their T-shirts. So what they wanted to do was to have products that, T-shirts that their participants could design themselves. So we uh, were going down that road that we have, this hasn't been launched yet. But you can see what our what what we're up to here with this. Uh, this was just ready to launch. The plan was for May, but of course, uh, right now everything like that's been put on hold. So <laughs> it's a uh, it's quite uh, sad. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm like, oh no, that would been that would been a good one to get going. Uh, that and this is a. You know, this obviously they do. Uh, they had thirty thousand people in their London uh, uh, event last year. They had them all over the world, so it was going to be a great account for everybody. But uh, with the with the uh, COVID nineteen, of course, everything's been delayed. But this is a good example of a company store. And when you do a company store for a big company, well, as we used to say in the promo business. Those big dogs chew a lot faster. They, they can really go through some merchandise. So they're great to have. Uh, company stores are, you know, it's where I've supported my five daughters uh, with. Uh, so I think that's a good overview of some stores for everyone, uh, Sprite, today. I think we're coming up on the hour, although we burned about 10 minutes at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, sorry. Uh, but uh, does anybody have any questions echo. they'd like me to go back over or anything? Um, no, I did want to tell you um, uh, that Teresa did comment. I don't know if you can see the Facebook uh, comments, but she said um, she's over on YouTube. She said, you're awesome. It was very nice to meet you in person. And she's glad you took the time to come by and see her. So, well, I could, <laughs> you know, she really, she didn't know she helped us so much and, and, uh, and uh, but she really did. Um, she's she's so, pretty uh, fantastic, you know. I love her to death. I love her to death. So. Um, All right. Um, anyway. Well, Vic, I tell you what. Um, you know, we've had we've had such a good response um, from your webinars, and I personally myself have learned so much. Um, so I do want everybody to know that we are, uh, we, these are taped and so you can watch them um, if you missed anything. I may go back and edit this one um, to try to edit out all of the, uh, my mistakes in the beginning. Sorry guys. Um, but uh, Vic, why don't you tell the people uh, how they can contact you? Well, the best way is to go to ipersonalize.com this is spelled i p e r s o n a l y z e and uh yes i know i should have gotten i z e but i couldn't some guy in in uh new zealand had it and he wouldn't give it to me so it's y z e which is okay uh and they can schedule they can hit here and schedule a demo with me or here uh we have our phone numbers or are down here somewhere down here there it is 888-678 there they can email info or you can just you want to get up close and personal with me my email address is vic at i personalize or even victor at i personalize i've got all permutations of that vic or victor at i personalize.com you'll get me and uh, love to uh, show somebody online demo show them answer their questions um, and uh, whether you have an existing store uh, or you know, WooCommerce or BigCommerce 
or Shopify or even Magento. And we do some other ones too, but those are the big ones. We can integrate into it. It's a little different process than building a new store, but it's, it's uh, we can, you still have access to all the Condi products that we have. And my agreement with Mr. Mr. David Gross is that we'll put Condi products in there all day long for folks. So uh, we appreciate our relationship with Condi and, and, and cherish it actually. So love to hear from everyone. Well, and, um, and one of the things that uh, I really appreciate, Vic, is that you actually take the time to um, sit with everyone and, you know, explain what's going on. And you're not like, um, like a GoDaddy where you just register the domain and then you're kind yeah. of on your own or Wix where you're on your own. I mean, you really help because, you know, I think that you have the same um, kind of byline that we do. And that's the better your customers do, the better you do. Um, yes, so. I'll tell you who I learned that from, I, David Gross, when I went there that first time, I saw him back there, he was talking to everybody on the phone, I said, he, you know, he's the president of this company, he's back here just, just you know, doing, doing everything, and I said, you know, when I was in the promotional industry, and I had 30 corporate programs, and I had one online problem, and I couldn't get my IT department to answer me for two or three days, drove me crazy, and I made a vow, I would never allow that to happen to anybody, you know, I was not going to treat people that way. Somebody's paying you money. You know, you, you owe them some good service and, and to be polite to them. Um, so that's what we've done. And I've trained my entire team, uh, seven of them now, to, to respond. And they do. Uh, they, actually, they, they get it. So they better. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Thank you, Sprite. You're welcome, Vic. So, guys, if, uh, you know, call Vic. Um, Email him, Vic, at ipersonalize.com. Go to his website. Check out what he's got going on. Um, you know, uh, questions are free, so ask some questions of him. Uh, I know he's always more than happy to walk you through anything you have questions with. Um, and, yeah, Vic, thank you so very much for joining us again. Um, maybe we'll have to schedule another one of these. Um, yeah, I'd like, to, I'd like to get into some – I'd like to get a little more uh, specific about some of the products maybe. Uh, sometime and uh there's a couple of little things that we should we should cover but at one of these times we're going to get into how once you have a site how do you market it what are your options what are the costs how do you sell your products and you know it, it starts by doing good mock-ups and building a customer base but if you don't have that you have a site you're going to want to do seo or pay-per-click or google shopping or one of those things we can go through those and talk and talk about how they kind of work. So. Hey, um, you know that sounds like a great lesson for everybody. Um, okay, well let's. Uh, you want to say Wednesday same time next week? Wednesday same time next week. All right, sounds that good. sounds like a plan. How to market your website? It sounds like a plan. There you go. All right, guys. Well, I will. Um, I'll see you all next week. Actually, I'll see you all Friday. Uh, Vic will see you next week. Uh, thank you very much once again for joining us. Thank you everybody for watching. Um, stay safe out there, and and we'll see you soon. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. -bye.